Hi everyone, this is Sandy. Welcome back to Easy Cooking. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make some really easy and delicious crunchy breaded shrimp. Really easy to make and super delicious, perfect for this length season. The preparation time and the cooking time combined is going to be about 30 minutes. I hope you like it. Remember to find the list of ingredients in the description box of this video and you will also find it in my blog where you can print the whole recipe. Let's get started. Here I have the eggs, I'll season them with a tablespoon of Maggi sauce or you can also use soy sauce or Worcestershire sauce. I will also season the eggs with a few drops of habanero sauce. This step is optional, you can replace it with Tabasco sauce if you want to or any kind of sauce that you like, just to give it a little kick. Like I said, this step is optional, you don't have to add any of the hot sauce if you don't want to. So we're going to beat the eggs together with the sauce until everything is well combined and then after it's done set it aside for a minute now we're going to season the panko breadcrumbs I'm going to place it in a bigger container then I'll season it with half a tablespoon of onion powder and also a half a tablespoon of garlic powder and I will also add one tablespoon of lemon pepper seasoning and we will also add half a tablespoon of crushed red pepper also season with salt to taste then give it a stir until everything is well combined and then just set it aside for a moment. So remember for this recipe we need the shrimp to be clean, de-vein and peel. I have a bunch of videos where I show you how to do it. My shrimp is already clean, peeled and de -vein, so it's ready to use. So once everything is ready, now we're going to cover the shrimp with the cornstarch. Cover the shrimp really well on all sides with the cornstarch and then tap it a little bit to remove the excess cornstarch and just keep on repeating this step until all the shrimp is well covered with the cornstarch. Now I'm going to divide the panko breadcrumbs into two different bowls. This is only so I won't contaminate the whole panko breadcrumbs at once. So I'm just going to separate it into uh, different bowls and then after that after I have divided the breadcrumbs, now we're going to dip the shrimp in the egg mixture. Make sure the shrimp is really well covered with the egg mixture on all sides. Then tap it a little bit to remove the excess egg. And then after that, we're going to transfer the shrimp into the panko breadcrumbs. Now we're going to cover the shrimp with the panko breadcrumbs on all sides. Make sure the shrimp is really well covered with the panko on all sides. Press it down a little bit just to make sure the panko breadcrumbs are sticking to the shrimp really well. And that's about it. Just keep on repeating these steps until you have all the shrimp covered with the panko breadcrumbs. And this is how it looks when it's done. Now we can fry it or you can bake it if you want to. I'm going to fry it. So I preheated plenty of vegetable oil to a temperature of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. So once the oil is nice and hot, now we're going to fry the shrimp in batches. I'll be frying around 8 to 10 shrimp at once. And I will only fry it for about 2 or 3 minutes or until the shrimp is golden brown and crisp on all sides. So remember we're just going to fry it in plenty of oil to a temperature of 375 degrees Fahrenheit. And we'll only fry it for about 2 or 3 minutes. And once it's done, remove it from the skillet and place it on paper towels to remove the excess oil and just keep on frying them until you have them all done. And this is how they look once they are done. As you can see they are nice and golden brown and they are really crunchy. Now you can serve them. And I'm serving them with white rice and some salad. My salad has romaine lettuce, red onion, cucumbers and tomatoes and some avocado slices as well. And that's about it. Add some shrimp onto your plate. You can add as many shrimp as you want. And that's about it. This is a great meal for any day of the week, especially for Lent season. I hope you can give them a try. Enjoy! To print these and some other delicious recipes, please don't forget to visit my blog. The link is going to be down below. And remember, you will also find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram, on Pinterest. I'm everywhere, so all the links are going to be down below. If you want, you can check them out. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to be notified of future updates. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.